What's up, guys? Chris Teresi here, professional sports better founder. We cover spreads.com. NCAA title game market breakdown, smart money report video, whatever you want to call it. We're going to get in depth behind the scenes. Talk to a lot of my sources today. So, give you guys an outlook on kind of what's going on behind the betting counter, in front of the betting counter, um, et cetera, et cetera. If you guys want today, I have a five star bet in the NBA. Not in college basketball. You get it how I bet it. So I found a bigger edge in, the co in an NBA game today than I did actually in this NCAA title game. I do have a four-star college basketball bet. So you get my five-star um, NBA bet and four-star college basketball bet on the title game you know, included in my past eight. You can pick that up on the site. Um, and we closed out a great college basketball season, 159% of our games heading into tonight. That's got to be in the top 5% of uh, betters in the country. Um, uh, what else? And five-star bets. NBA won. We've been red hot. We've won 14 of our last 19 NBA bets, 74% winners. And we have a, it's a five-star bet. And our five-star bets in all sports dating back to um, – early March, we've actually won 8 out of 11, 73% on our 5-star bets, and we've been red hot, you know, lately, so look to keep it going, hopefully we sweep the board 2-0 with our bet in college basketball and our bigger bet in the NBA, um, alright, let's get into, let's get into this market breakdown, um, we'll talk about the tournament game tonight, so everybody wants to know what's going on, this is what's going on, as the day progresses, you're starting to see more and more and more tickets come in on Kentucky, um, especially on the point spread. You're looking at about almost 7 out of 10 bets coming in on Kentucky on the point spread, a um, little more than 3 out of 5 bets on the over, and you're looking at about a little bit more out of 3 out of 5 bets with Kentucky and parlay. So Kentucky is the more popular play today. Um, from the recreational bet in public. Now, that's from your $50, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $500 regular bettors or whatever. Um, as far as sharps go, smart money, the big money, they all love Kansas. Um, it, it really doesn't matter who I spoke to, whether it was local here in New York, spoke to a guy on Vegas. Um, sharp bettors really like Kansas today. Um and, you know, we'll get into it a little bit more as we actually, as I, I explain to you kind of how the market shifted with this whole game from when it opened. This game here, it opened here in my local books. One book actually opened at 7, um, and I had another book that actually opened up at 6.5. But either way, it didn't matter because what happened was, these games were the one that opened down at seven, the one that opened at six and a half. It was bet down at six within hours, like within maybe an hour, or I think about an hour. It was down at six, so that shows you how quick a plus 250 money line was bet right down to plus 240. Sharp money came right in on Kansas early today. Recreational bettors usually don't bet till the game, the day of the game, so you're seeing the line move back up to six and a half. Because you're seeing, you know, quite a bit of recreational money, and this is a huge game, and the recreational money will outweigh the public money in such a, you know, in a championship game like this. But there is quite a bit of money, big money betters that have taken Kansas, so that bails the books out. So maybe the percentage on this game may seem lopsided or skewed if you look at it you know from a percentage angle when you talk about the money the actual physical money split it's not as books are telling books are saying to me it's not as bad as you would think because of you know your high four five figure you know your high four your eight thousand seven thousand ten thousand fifteen thousand you know your four your upper four and five level five uh five figure betters they're all you know on, on Kansas in this game it's pretty unanimous I haven't spoken to any real sharp guys that are on Kentucky in this game I'm not saying that it's the right side or anything like that I'm just telling you what I what I've heard um and the money line has also jumped back up to Kentucky minus 300 plus 250 for Kansas as, uh, you know, books adjusted, you know, adjusted it back up about 10 cents. As far as the total goes, open as high as 140 at one shop out here. Another shop open 139 and a half. Another one of the shops I deal with open 138 and a half. But it didn't really matter. Everywhere 
was bet down um, with Sharps betting this under. So it was bet down to 137. And what happened was today we're seeing more public money coming toward the over. And that's helped push it back up. As some shops back up to 137 and a half. Um, uh, one of the one of the other shops I deal with, one of the sharper shops I deal with here locally, he's still at 137 and he hasn't even budged it back up. Um, but so you're seeing, you know, mostly it, it's it's your normal breakdown you would expect on a big game like this. You got sharps on the dog and the under, and and you got you know your regular recreational betters on the favorite and the over, and that, that's usually how it breaks down. Uh, and I guess we all see how, how you know, what happens at the end of it all tonight, you know, who's right? Is it in a tussle between the Sharps and the, you know, the recreational betters and books, you know, they, they seem they got a pretty good handle on it and they think they'll do pretty good. They're, they're very happy they're not really lopsided with all sharp and public money on one side or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Books are, books are aiming to have a good, pretty good night tonight. Um... And, you know, that's pretty much your breakdown there. And then as far as, like, NBA, there's really, you know, I found one game that I, I had a really strong opinion on. But there hasn't been too many, you know, real big NBA moves. The recreational move of the day, though, in NBA is the Oklahoma City Thunder being tied in with Kentucky. They're telling me that's a pretty popular parlay that's definitely you know, popping up here and there, and I'm hearing, you know, from, from local, you know, local guys I deal with, they're telling me the Sacramento Kings was a pretty big sharp move, um, and they're also telling me that, that Sharps kind of did bail them out and take Memphis against Oklahoma City, they did take the eight, which moved that down to seven and a half, um, so, that's pretty much about it, that wraps up our, you know, NCAA title game market breakdown, I uh, hope you all, Make money tonight and do good. And like I said, if you guys want, go to WeCoverSpreads.com. You can pick up, you know, my five-star NBA bet and my, my bet on this uh, title game here. Best of luck.